the second year? Um, I think always be ready for the ball. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's going to throw it, and she's going to throw it hard, so you got to be ready to catch it. Uh, I think that's the most important. I, I don't want her to have any extra turnovers because of me. So, <laughs> yeah. So, okay. They're already high, so i got to keep them down. <laughs> Kaylin, the game of women's basketball has been rising continuously. You're obviously part of that, but the Big Ten itself is part of that. Maryland with a great program. Obviously, uh -huh. Indiana has been great the last couple of years. Those battles you guys have had, what has that meant to the game? Yeah, I think that's what helps the game move forward is when there are really, really great battles, when there's a lot of great teams. You know, it can't just be one end-all, be-all team. It needs to be multiple teams on the same level. Um, I think Don Staley said it really well too when she spoke on the player of the year conversation is like, you want to have those conversations. You want to talk about who's the best team. You want to talk about, you know, who's going to win the Big Ten tournament. You want to talk about who's the best player. Those are the conversations that spark interest in our game. Um, so for me, I think it's amazing. I want to play Indiana every single night. I want to play Maryland every single night. I want to play Ohio State every night. You go to those arenas, there's 14,000 people cheering against you. It's loud environment. As a competitor, those are the games you grow up watching. Um, so I think it's something we just embrace and love, but also that's what's moving the game forward. There's like these really great battles within our conference every single night. Caitlin, the great Final Four battle that you had mm -hmm. uh, last year, last year in South Carolina and LSU, I mean, drew, obviously drew a ton of people to watching. Do you have an appreciation for what you uh, personally and what the team did in, in that sense and building the audience? And, and how has how has that carried over in the offseason? What's it been like for you? Yeah, I think it's definitely been hard to wrap my head around everything that we were able to accomplish. And it moves so fast. Like when you're at the Final Four, your days are packed. There's things to do. There's media obligations. There's gifting experiences you're doing there's practice there's film watching like your day is just packed so I think after that all ended going back and reflecting on what we were able to do um, has been really special and it's probably not something I'll be able to wrap my head around for a really long time probably after my career is over and um, yeah I think just what we were able to do for women's basketball got people talking about, about the game 10 million viewers that's more than basically every other college football, most college football games that have occurred this season so far. Um, and it's hard to really understand how many 10 million people are, but when you see those numbers up against numbers like college football or whatever it is, it's, it kind of takes you back for a second. But obviously all of our lives kind of changed from that run. People know who we are. People know, you know who our team is, um, but also just the excitement in, our, in Iowa City around our state uh, for our team and for women's basketball in general. Um, you know, whether they were a fan of us or just a fan of the game, you know, it seemed like they were supporting us and always said how much joy we gave them. And to me, that's the coolest thing. It was never, we're so happy you won. It's how you played the game, you know, how you supported your teammates. That's what people love watching and continue to come back for. Has, has being a celebrity uh, gotten too much at any point in the offseason? <laughs> no, I mean, I think it's something you kind of just embrace. Um, obviously, you have to be a little more cautious and aware of what you're doing and where you're going. Um, but like my teammates treat me the same. My family keep, treats me the same. Everybody humbles me quite a bit. Um, I'm picked on the most on the team by far. Coach Bluter picks on me the most. Um, but no, I, I mean, it's something, you know, you love. I grew up cheering for the Minnesota Lynx that played in this building. Um, you know, I wanted to be on this stage. I wanted to play in front of packed environments. I wanted to, you know, hoist trophies. That's just kind of what you want as a competitor. So I don't think it's anything you ever shy away from. It's just something you embrace and um, you enjoy every second because you're